Hi, friends. Welcome back to today's episode of Life with Loverly. Today, we are going to be diving into all things styling. I mean, right up your alley. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're going to, it's one of our favorite things to do. And I know you actually putting pieces together. That's something you're super passionate about. Like this is where your passion lies with Loverly Gray. So I'm very excited to dive into this one. And I'm sure that you guys are too. Um, so we're going to cover a few things today how to shop your own closet, staple items you must have, Yes. Uh, styling guidelines for each um, of these outfit ideas. And of course, I guess we'll talk a little bit about how I'm recreating my uh, wardrobe for my new boobies. <laughs> yes. I think people really want to know about that too. So, so interesting. <laughs> I'm still learning, but we'll get into that. <laughs> I know, right? Well, by the time you guys are listening to this, we will be on a team retreat yes. at the beach. Yeah. Cannot wait. Um, it's going to be so much fun to just relax with the team and be in the sand and all the things. So I can't wait to give a recap of that once we get back. I know. And you're about to pack for Disney. I know. I have got so much to do. Um, but the girls are doing swimming lessons this weekend. My father in law is in town. It's just like, you know, why, why do things like, simple before a big trip when why do you think simple is like kind of the theme that's kind of that's, my life theme yeah it's just how it goes <laughs> I know but you guys have anything going on wait Maddie has prom this weekend she did. yeah she has prom we did nails already getting her last coat of tanner on tonight yeah, yeah. and then we're doing pictures before it they okay, were trying good. to not like have parents come take pictures I'm like who does that you're like um, you guys, I'm a professional photographer. Seriously. Like, I will be there. <laughs> so the guy she's going with is actually a neighbor of ours and he's so precious. I love him. I wish they would get married one day. Um, but <laughs> you never know. You heard it here first if it happens. <laughs> exactly. So he um they were talking and she's like, My mom wants to come take pictures when we're in downtown Brazelton. You know, what time? And he's like, No, Nichelle, no pictures. And I was like, Yes, Desmond, we're taking pictures. <laughs> and she goes, If you want somebody to take good pictures, we're getting my mom here. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. She knows what's up. Yeah. So. Okay. What is the brand of the tanner that you're using on her? Do you remember? I, it's something Bondi. It's an Australian. Okay. I cannot remember it, but I would say it's very, very similar to Loving Tan. Okay. It has the same base, that yeah. olive base. So it's it actually worked really well on her. I'll have to I'll have to find it and link it because yeah. if you are fair skinned with pink undertones, I was shocked at how well it did. Okay. Yeah. It's I know we were talking about it the other day and you were like, okay, this is actually like a really great sunless tanner yes. for her. Yes. Um, yeah, you'll have to keep us posted and let us know. I can't wait to I'm gonna be like, okay, send me photos. Like I'm gonna be where... like I'm over here crying. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Come over for like emotional support <laughs> afterwards. Exactly. <laughs> that is so crazy. Okay. So we want to start with shopping your own closet. I know that this is something that you always tell your followers, shop your own closet first before you feel like you have to go out and buy something. Tell us a little bit about shopping your closet. I know it looks different a little bit. Yeah, you, but so I recommend? think it's so important to, it's so easy to get lost on Instagram in this like buy, buy, buy mentality. I mean, my job is to style outfits for people. So the volume of clothes I have is just crazy compared yeah. to like what an average consumer should have. Um, and then I know that gets like overwhelming for people sometimes or it's like, okay, well, I need more. I need more because it's just kind of like our society right Heard now. Heard that. But really, you probably have so many amazing pieces in your closet that get pushed to the back or you forget about or you buy because it's like, oh, I'm going to wear that. Once the weather gets warmer, the weather's warmer, you've yeah. forgotten about it. So I always try to encourage people to like shop what you have in your closet and take inspiration from what you are seeing online um, or magazines or Pinterest or wherever you're getting your inspiration from. I, before I was an influencer, I used to look on Pinterest all the time and mm -hmm. spend time in my closet, just like putting outfits together, being like, I have something similar to that. Like, how can I recreate what I already have to make it work for me? Right. And so like that is something everybody should absolutely still do. 
I think one thing that's really important, you need a little bit of time. The way that you can kind of like set yourself up for success in shopping your closet and kind of creating some outfits that are like sort of fail safe outfits, you need some time to like go in your closet and inventory what you have. And then maybe put a few outfits together. So on those mornings when you're running late or you don't have anything to wear, you know you have those fail safe options that's already created in your mind. You can even like stack them together if you want. Um, and that can be what you grab for and then you can switch it out with like accessories or different shoes or different bags and kind of make the outfit look a little bit different but it does take a little bit of preparation but once you've done that prep work it's going to set you up for success to be able to continue re-wearing like what's in your closet yeah I loved that that's something that I truly I think need to do now is go through everything in my yeah. closet like just spend an hour or two trying everything back on right to see what works but then it'll also help me kind of like put these pieces back together again I do love that I do love finding a piece that I've had for like two years and I'm like I haven't worn this in a minute right let me see what it'll go well with that I have now you know totally I think it's like sometimes I feel like when my kids go to bed and maybe like Chris is out to dinner with guys or away that's a great time to like turn on some music, pour a glass of wine, and just kind of like go through an inventory. Put your audio book in. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so much can happen when you're, uh, you know, busy listening to your favorite novel. Um, but you kind of make it fun. Like I remember finding so much inspiration and in, like creating when I was just like, it was no pressure. It was just like, if these outfits work, they work. But I would always come up with things that I'm like, heck yeah. Like I, little did you know, you just made six to 10 outfits that you've got for the next like month to wear and rewear. Mm -hmm. um, so it does take a little bit of effort and time, but it would be like really, really worth it. Yeah. And then I would say if you're going um, like some when I go into my closet, the first like few things that I'm always like, what should I look for? It kind of depends on like what the weather is or what the like what the day is like. But I feel like I always go for a dress. I it's love one piece. a yeah. maxi dress. It's easy. It's a one piece outfit. So you don't have to like think of, oh, do I have the top? Is that clean? Like mm -hmm. I, that skirts, I don't like that or whatever. So that's kind of like my first thing would be having like a few dresses that you really like if you're a dress person and then pieces that you can layer with. So maybe you have a dress, but it's like a little bit chilly, like having a good denim jacket or a cardigan that like you can wear, but then later take off. Yeah. Um, and then also just like a great pair of jeans, mm -hmm. like knowing that, okay, if I'm going to put these jeans on, here are three or four shirts that I already have that like I know look great with it. I can add a necklace. I can put on a statement, like a pair of statement earrings, which I feel like is a must have. Yes. I think that we add that to what we're about to get I into. Know, I do too. <laughs> um, but I think just setting yourself up for success when you're going into your closet to get ready and just making sure you like know what what is in there is a great place to start. Yeah, agree. So that right there is going to lead us into our next discussion. So you mentioned a couple of pieces that we actually talk about a lot with being staple items for your closet. Yes. So tell us a little bit about some of these staples that you highly recommend for everybody's closet that can last year round. Okay, I would start I think the outfit I'm currently wearing is um, a all bunch of staples. staple pieces. <laughs> For those of you watching on YouTube, you will be able to see what I'm talking about. But I've got on a white linen blazer, which I think is more of like a warm weather staple. But having a blazer in general is like an absolute must have. You can do so much with them. It elevates a look. I have on just like a gray like t-shirt tank. You could put a blazer on over a graphic tee, a plain white tee, layer it over a dress. They can be for work, for, you know, meeting a friend for lunch, but you just want to be elevated. We're going to get into some like mom looks and like ways to elevate your mom look, but like adding a blazer when you go out and run your errands. And I'm, I'm talking like not a stuffy blazer, like something comfortable you can wear yes. all day and move around in. Um, and there's so many great lightweight options out there right now. We're going to share a few links um, in the show notes. So you guys will be able to see what we're talking about but absolutely a blazer i think um 
having good pair of jeans. Yeah. Like for summer, definitely a great pair of white jeans. We love the mother denim, white, like kick crop. They are an investment, but I would say like those are my most worn like yeah. denim. You guys heard us rave about them in the last episode. And then also another just pair of like blue denim or black denim. I think like having one of each that is going to be your like these are the three main p- jeans that mm-hmm. I'm always going to pull through. And you would suggest not destroyed, right? Because you want to have like a more of a professional pair just in case yes so I think like if you like a distressed pair of denim like absolutely if that's something that is like appropriate for your line of work or if you're like just looking for like a chic mom outfit and you want a little bit of distressing like absolutely Mm -hmm. I have plenty of those on hand too but I do think it's important to have like a non-distressed pair that you can dress up or wear on like a casual day in the office that is like absolutely a must have some places I love for denim um, that I would say is like a little bit more affordable would be Abercrombie, Madewell. Mm-hmm. Um, even uh, we've had like a lot of success with like free assembly and scoop brands at Walmart. For sure. Um, so I would say like those are some great places to look. And then um, having like a great white tee is like yes. absolutely a closet staple. You can do so much by wearing it with shorts, styling it with a skirt, putting it on with your denim and throwing a blazer and some like great little gold chains and a cute bag and shoes. And like you're out the door and you look elevated and put together. And you have a really great one that they carry year over year. Yes. J. Crew Factory. J. Crew Factory mm-hmm. makes this like amazing it's called, thinner. Um, the it's vintage like, tee? I think it's the featherweight. The featherweight. Okay. And it's just got like a great V that's not too revealing. Um, it washes really well. It's like a great length. It's a little longer, but it's perfect for like a front tuck situation. Mm-hmm. So I love that tee. Um, actually, the top that I'm wearing right now, it's like kind of a thicker tank and it's from Topshop at Nordstrom. And I've had it for probably f- five years, mm-hmm. four or five years. And it's awesome. They They have it just like, they keep having it over and over. Yeah. It's this is another amazing one I would definitely recommend. Um, so having some really solid basics that you can use as like layering. Um, some kind of fun staples that I recommend having. I love a good midi skirt. I think something this is where you can bring some like print in. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's great to have a solid option, but you can there's some great like florals. You can do a lot with that by just like with your plain white tee or like a white cami, which is another staple, I would say. Yeah. Um, I also love having like a go-to long sleeve maxi dress. Yes. Or just like sleeved maxi dress, something with a sleeve that's like a midi or maxi length. I do like that is what if I'm like, I don't have anything to wear today. I've got like a few that I'm like, well, here we go. Pulling for my like favorite H&M dress or my free people feeling groovy dress. (laughs) Um, Those always just feel like I'm elevated, but without putting up too much thought into it. I love the fact that you it works so fluidly to dress them up or dress them down. Like you can wear the it to church Mm -hmm. or you wear it into the office on Monday with your, you know, tennis shoes. Right. You can do so much with it. And that's what I love, like building a closet that's really versatile. And then you can like add in some more trendy pieces. Mm -hmm. Um, But if you look back over my style from like since I started in 2016, you're going to see a lot of consistency with like what I'm posting Mm -hmm. today. Um, A lot of the same style of outfits. And I'm just reusing and rebuilding the basics and these like closet staples just what is this year's version how can we add like what is like something trendy that maybe would complement my more classic put together style right um and I think there's like tons of ways you can add in trends but obviously having some of the basics is definitely a great place to start. Yes. I love that. So when putting all of these outfits together, so thinking of all of your staples that you do have in your closet, I love that you are so good at putting them together with pieces that you have brought in on a new season. So for example, I want to bring up like the maxi dress Mm -hmm. or maxi skirt, sorry. So you'll, you'll wear these in the winter and the summer. Yep. And 
in the winter, you'll have like this really pretty, you know, like a cashmere sweater on with it and um, tennis shoes or again, heels in the summer. Like you said, t-shirt, skirt. Tell me what are some of your favorite pieces to mix and match when it comes to your staples? So like to your point with the maxi skirt, I can like think of a few just like past outfits that I've done, but I always like doing like a maxi skirt, maybe with like booties underneath it for winter, mm -hmm. adding like a chunky belt to kind of break up your thicker sweater. That could be a little bit hard to tuck in if you don't have like a focal point, which is like where like a thicker belt would come in. And so it kind of like breaks the outfit up. So now you're seeing like three pieces that come together instead of like two pieces that look like it's missing something. I also feel like that gives you your waist. Exactly. Yes. And that's like, because if you're wearing a chunkier sweater, you're going to need something to like pull it in. Mm -hmm. um, but then in the summertime, doing like a tank, layering a denim jacket with like a great sandal and that same skirt is like a perfect way to reuse some of the pieces over and over. I also really love layering. So I'm a big fan of like layering a shirt over a dress. So maybe we've got like a dress that's got like a spaghetti strap. We're going into the winter, but it's like a print that works in cooler months as well. Layering over a sweater or a long sleeve top, but then using like a belt to kind of cinch that all in and hold it in place. Um, this kind of goes back to spending a little bit of time in your closet creating these outfits. Like once you see the inspiration on my Instagram, like actually trying it for yourself and figuring out like, okay, how can I make this work for me mm -hmm. so that you're not like on the day of you're like, well, lovely, great, like did this and it's not working for me. Like, but maybe you have a different yeah. belt that you need to try out or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, I also think just like having a denim jacket can add so much to some of these like staple pieces too. So much, so much. So I think if you guys can tell, having these staple pieces in your closet is going to help you start with any outfit at any point. Mm -hmm. I think those are the pieces that you can pull and rely on constantly and then build your outfit from there. Wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Yeah. And even like looking at some of my workwear posts that we do, a lot of them start with like, okay, there's a blazer of some like color or print. There's a cami mm -hmm. or like a white button down that's like under it. And then where can we change out our bottoms? Yeah. You know, so it's like we're building with the same pieces and then we're just rotating, you know, certain colors or pant styles or whatnot. So you probably have a lot of these items. You just need to figure out how to rework them for what you're looking for. For sure. So one thing that I think is super fun that you do, and I know you have a lot of fun doing it, but a lot of people kind of go skirt whenever it happens is mixing prints. Oh my so, goodness. Tell me a little bit about that and how it started. I love mixing prints and patterns and colors. I feel like this started when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. um, and then once I got my corporate job, I just was like, okay, I wanted to wear things that weren't just plain black or navy suit you know we had to wear business professional attire which always meant a blazer like you had to look put together going to client meetings but I was like how can I make this fun so I would get like a striped skirt and do like a floral top mm -hmm. and I would always try to find like something so if I did like a navy and white striped skirt I would always try to find like a top that was maybe floral that had like a hint of navy in it right. or something that would like coordinate with the bottom print it's usually like mixing like some type of stripe or some type of like plaid print something that's got lines to it and then mixing that with a floral print so it's there's like some straight lines and then there's some like abstract going on and those tend to like go together really well. Mm -hmm. um, I think like keeping kind of within the same color, like maybe having something like neutral and then something bright to kind of pair together. It also, it's kind of hard to explain without being able to show you guys like, here's I why know. this would work and this would work. Um, but I think this 
is something that takes a little bit of confidence. Like you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone and put these type of looks together. But I promise you, I, you will receive so many compliments when you try and you are confident about what you've done. Um, I get messages all the time from people that are like, I wasn't sure about this, but I tried it and I received so many compliments just like that. This outfit looked so fun and put together. Yeah. And once you hear like one compliment, you're like beaming for the rest of the day. And then you feel even more confident to try it again or try it with something else. Right. So I think don't be afraid to give it a shot because you never know like you that might become your favorite outfit and that might push you in a direction of, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone more often. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like what we're here to do is help you feel good in what you're wearing. Um. So I think that's just a fun way over the years, mixing prints and patterns has been, we've been able to do that. Yeah. So I have two more questions when it comes to this, because I know that you were asked this a lot. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to certain types of pieces that you wear, your ankle fit, crop, denim. Yes. Abercrombie. A lot of people are really curious what kind of shoes to wear with straight leg jeans. Do you have any advice? So I would wear, I guess it depends on where you live. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the styling that we're doing is, I live in Georgia. The weather is pretty mild, you know, so I feel like a lot more open ankle type shoes. Um, so for example, I think like, I like to do a heel. Mm -hmm. I just love the way like it just kind of elevates me a little bit. I'm 5'5". Five five. A lot of people always think I'm much taller than yes. that. But I'm usually always wearing some type of like heel. Um, I think doing like a pump is a great something that's still going to show your ankle. I think like if you did it with a booty, just making sure that the it was like a ankle booty and that there's enough space like all you really need is like two inches between the bottom of your denim and like the top of the booty yeah if you're wearing them in the winter but I think like mules slides sandals like you can really wear any shoes with them mm -hmm. and then if you were going to try to cover your ankle I would just wear like a boot that comes up a little higher that the straight would then go over the top of. And you would suggest a booty that is more fitted around the ankle yeah. for something like that, right? Than a loose, because I know, like, I just imagine, I don't know, let's say a cowgirl boot or yeah. something. You don't want something with that, I guess, like, thickness. Yes. Under, yeah. It Because then that kind of just like keeps it wide yeah. um, and you don't, you want it to kind of like the ankle kind of like thins it out and exactly. then goes to your shoe. Um, sneakers. Yeah, absolutely. Sneakers is probably the way that I wear it the most yeah. with like a, you know, golden goose or some type of just like casual everyday sneaker. Yeah. Um, but you can do a lot with them. One thing that I have learned to do, because I'm not scared to cut something. Yes. <laughs> Same. <laughs> um, that if you find a pair of denim that you are in love with, and you have multiple pair, maybe you have one that is going to be for like winter or fall mm -hmm. that you wear booties with and you just cut a couple inches that you need off of them. Exactly. I have a pair of Abercrombie that I'm like, these are ones I'm going to wear with my booties. Yes. I need them to be a little shorter than the ones that I wear with my um, like heels mm -hmm. or sandals. And like when Abercrombie does a sale, that's like... 25% off or like their denim goes on crazy sale. It's a great time to grab two pairs of those yeah. jeans, if, especially if you've tried them before, you really like them. And then you can make it work to where you have the one that works with your booties and the one that works with your sandals or heels or like more summery type shoes. Yeah. Um, speaking of cutting <laughs> things, um, I oftentimes will cut the strings like off, like if you've been following me on Instagram, you guys know I do not do the like little strings that have no purpose that just hang off of blouses or dresses. Right. Like, it's it, like unnecessary. Yeah. Like, yeah. especially if you would never actually tie it, it, I kind of think the strings cheapen the yeah. outfit or like the tops. And so it's a such like a quick cut mm -hmm. that then you have this like beautiful neckline now. And so don't be afraid to like 
change. Like if you love the top, you love the print, but you're like, oh, I hate strings. Like, okay, well, we can still make this work. <laughs> it was like a running joke for a long time because we had a drawer full of strings. We just were like, let's just see how many we can accumulate. It's like full when we moved. <laughs> I know. I just, I don't love the strings. It's funny because people will, if I have the strings left on, because sometimes I leave it on to show people that, hey, this is coming with the strings, but then I'm going to cut it off. Right. I'll get messages that are like, are you okay? Like the strings are still on that shirt. And I'm like, I know, but I need people to see like they're getting strings. Your but people like, know. <laughs> I'm going to cut it yeah. off to wear it actually. So. Oh, that's funny. With jewelry, we kind of touched on this mm. a second ago. Little statement earring is necessity. Absolutely. Like neutral something we, fun and even like bright colors like depending on the time of year I think you can I have like different jewelry for different times of year but like the raffia mm -hmm. like the pearls are really popular mm -hmm. right now like a chunkier white gold anthropology is somewhere I always look at their statement earrings if I'm just like wanting to buy something but I've got like some really solid pieces in my closet I will look at anthropology or bobble bar target also has some really great statement earrings out right now and just invest in a good pair of statement earrings mm -hmm. and you will be surprised at how often you are wearing them mm -hmm. and it just elevates your outfit you could be in a simple t-shirt your favorite like tee pair of jeans and some slides and then you put on a great earring i feel like it brings great. the attention up too People exactly are like, oh, those are so cute and then it's like oh wow like she put together she put herself together and has like yeah. a great jewelry on mm -hmm. and like it's just i think it's all about like simple ways to just level up what you're comfortable in mm -hmm. um so finding great earrings, I think having, I always just like wear a simple necklace. Mm -hmm. I don't do a ton of like chunky necklaces. That was definitely like circa 2010. Yeah. We I mean, I have. That. And if I find like a great right. necklace, I'm all about it. Or if like the outfit needs a necklace that's like a little bit longer, like absolutely. But every day I just wear like a thin little diamond necklace. I did a collaboration with the Sis Kiss a few years ago. And this like five stone diamond mm -hmm. necklace is like one of my favorites. I literally never take it off. Mm -hmm. So I, and I feel like it just is like part of me almost. It's so classic. Yeah. It's timeless. That's the other thing. And then having like a great stack of bracelets yes. is another way to just like level up your look. Mm -hmm. um, I really love the Millie B bracelets. They're kind of like these, I don't even know, like what is, I don't what know what they? the, I don't know they're what the like material a, is, yeah. but they are they're like great long bead. and sturdy. Yes. And they, oh yeah, you can mix so many of them together. They're very fun. I think just having like a great stack that you can wear every day, just th another, again, way to just like level up your look. Absolutely. Okay. Let's um hear from Nichelle on how she's dressing <laughs> Your new boobies. <laughs> I'm still just really excited for you to try the adhesive bra. Um, so I did this morning. <gasps> I did. <gasps> and nothing happened. It was great. <laughs> what did you think? It Are was... you wearing it right now? No, 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 no. Okay. no. I, I just was like, it was sitting there. And I woke up at three this morning and didn't go oh back my to bed. Gosh. <laughs> so I had timed when I got ready. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, it's just sitting there. Let me just try it. And it fits so great. It's so fun. I Is this wait. the first time you've ever like attempted one? Yes. Okay. So what did you think when you took it off? I was like, nipples, please don't come off. <laughs> Okay, so you guys, this is probably the best thing. Um, it is this strapless bra that is adhesive. Mm -hmm. And it you literally just like stick it onto your boobs. It has a little clasp if you want to like create some cleavage. Yeah. But this is the only strapless bra that I wear. So it's backless. It, like, it doesn't can, have the adhesive here because some of them are yeah, backless and they have this like adhesive under. This one feels so much more secure. I mean, it's like, you're good. Yeah. Um, it does like, and you wash it, like you literally like wash it in the sink with like soap and water, and then you can like put it back on the next day once it dries. And so you can rewear it. I would say in summer months, you probably need to like, yeah, it only lasts like a month. You're going to get a little hot. Yes. In the summer. <laughs> and if it's like not super sticky, it will kind of slide. Yeah. So like if you're going to be at an outdoor wedding, you need to make sure you got like a new one on. Yeah. 
but they're like 18 or $20. They're 18 tar. bucks because I just bought another one for Maddie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like it is, if you take away, well, I hope you take away a lot of things from this podcast, but like definitely buy that as well because yeah. it is so good. And I, I think people are probably going to ask also, does it have support? So it doesn't have necessarily support. Right. What it will do is once you adhere it onto your boobs, you snap it and it brings them together. And I think it just kind of gives it a little lift because yeah. if you put them on correctly, you're almost going under your boob. Yeah. It's like so you it roll it up. up. Yeah. And then the clasp together. Yes. And I was afraid it wouldn't fit. I was like, mm, this looks small. And it actually, it fits in the right place to where you won't have lines. It's yeah. great. Did you do the D or the double D? I ended up getting the double D. Okay. So I'm, I'm very covered. But Yeah. And I would say they fit true to size. Mm -hmm. But if you want to make sure you have more coverage, then size up. Yeah. Like I'm a true B and I have the B size and mm -hmm. I feel like it's perfect. But when I was nursing and like my boobs were just bigger during pregnancy, I size up to the C and definitely like right. felt it worked great too. Yeah. I just didn't know what size I was going to end up. So I was like, it's better to be a little bit bigger, you know, for sure, you know, for sure. Okay. So I'm so glad you've tried that because I now can't wait to see all the outfits you're going to wear now that you have this great strapless bra. I mean, bra. I can't wait for a retreat because I have some plans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nichelle's gonna like step out on 30A looking like a snack. Literally, backless, <laughs> here we come. <laughs> okay, so speaking of that, what's the number one outfit that you can wear now that you couldn't wear before? A wireless bra. <laughs> I mean, it's not I an know. outfit, but like I still am just dumbfounded right now. So I would say there are a lot of dresses that I'm finding that, like, okay, I just ordered a couple of dresses from Abercrombie. Mm -hmm. Okay. And first of all, I've never ordered anything that I can't wear a bra with because I just, I have to. And this has like the cutouts underneath yeah. and everything. And I was like, I can wear this now. I bought it and it was actually kind of loose. And you're like, ah, yes. I'm like, do I size down? <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> and then, um, I just a lot of dresses, like a lot of top. Yeah. I feel like just the confidence that you've yeah. like walked into the office having. And for those of you that are maybe like, listen, this is your first podcast that you're listening to. Nichelle recently had a breast reduction mm -hmm. and she went from a size H cup to now is like a D double D. So mm -hmm. it's like a completely different like outfit. Yeah. H vibe. is in hot, like, yeah. H. <laughs> H is in high. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. Okay. So have you been like having to buy a lot of new clothes or like, how are your like clothes fitting? I will say come winter, I'm probably going to have to find a new, a few new pieces. Mm -hmm. Some of the dresses I currently have, if they were fitting with larger breasts they're a lot looser now so yeah. it looks just looks weird yeah. you know what I mean because they're they're saggy and stuff so we're going into spring and summer so I'm going to focus on that I am having to buy a lot of new tops like mm -hmm. I'm down to like my closet has this many in my you know yeah. that I can wear this season so I'm currently looking for tops that right. I can wear I'm a dress girl too in the summer and so I find myself attracted to so many dresses so I haven't yeah. even gotten to the top situation oh my gosh <laughs> well and I feel like it's so great working here because you get to see so many like just yes. options. I mean, well, that's like part of our job is just constantly like looking at clothes. Right. And so you're now able to be like, oh, that would actually like potentially work for me. This morning when I woke up, I was trying to get tired again and didn't. But I was scrolling for swimsuits. Yeah. Yeah, because that's going to be like a whole different look on I you now, to too. I look at swimsuits totally different now. Right. It's insane. I remember last year there were you were like, looking at a to some of like a different brand mm -hmm. that you were like I can't even like consider the airy bathing suits because my boobs don't fit in that you yeah. know and yeah. so this year I feel like you just have so many options now and I got you know the green swimsuit that you have mm -hmm. I got it in hot pink and I was able to get a large wow because the extra awesome. large was just like saggy yeah. right there it's insane so I guess if you had to do the surgery over again 1000 percent, yeah 12 times. Like, yes. so good. A lot of people have been asking that because I don't I don't show up on social media, but I did share mm -hmm. a lot of that because people had asked about it and people are still checking in. How are you doing? Tell us how you're doing. Would you do it again? Was it painful? And I'm like, honestly, it was a blip on the radar. Totally. You know, yes, I can think of times that I was like, oh, I'm sore, but would totally do it. Yeah. 10 times over. Gosh, I love that. Yeah. 
I'm so excited to see the, just like the warm weather outfits. Summer's that... coming. <laughs> <laughs> Get excited. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's great. You put a question box up a while back and we asked some people to kind of give some of the things they really want to know. Like we get this a lot. Okay. Wedding guest dresses, um, go to travel outfits, bachelorette party weekends. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to kind of dive into a few of these right now. We have a lot of bachelorettes out there that are, or they're having bachelorette parties and they're wanting to know what to wear to go to one mm -hmm. and, or if they're the bride, what they should be wearing. So tell us a little bit about your opinion on this. Love a good bachelorette party. Mm -hmm. And I really try to like, if I'm doing a reel or if I'm sharing outfits to be like, hey, if you're going on a bachelorette and you're like, like a friend of the bride, like grab this. Um, so make sure you're watching Instagram stories because I do try to notate like this would be great for a bride for bachelorette parties. Um, I think for brides, I like it's a great time to wear white. There's so many awesome white pieces and white is not just only for brides so if you're not even in the back like wedding time frame like still please wear the white like white is beautiful to oh, wear yeah. um but i think there's just so many like great pieces out there for brides right now that you can wear for a shower on your bachelorette party and then again on your honeymoon so mm -hmm. you can really repurpose these like white outfits or maybe like solid white isn't your style kind of like looking at some other bridal options, but I think it's great to like, I love seeing a bachelorette party that like the bride is in all white and like the friends are in other colors. And it's just kind of she like, Hey, out. this is your mm -hmm. time to be celebrated. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as like the, f like the people attending the bachelorette party, I think doing like themes of everybody's like wearing hot pink one night. There's so many good hot pink dresses out so there right now. Many. We shared a few recently with like our Taylor Swift outfit ideas. Mm -hmm. And we, as we we're doing that, we we're like, this would be so cute for like a bachelorette party. Like yeah. I need to tell people to get this one shoulder dress. Um, I think just kind of knowing, being comfortable, a lot of times being on bachelorette party, there's like a lot of like things happening. So you want to be in pieces that are like comfortable that you can dress up or dress down. Mm -hmm. um, and then like cute bathing suits, like. I think there's a lot that come in like white and then black. Like that's always cute to do with like everybody wearing matching bathing suits. Yes. I mean, you could go, there's so many different routes to go with a bachelorette party, but I would say just like making sure that the bride is like the one standing out and then wearing things that are comfortable, good shoes that you can like have a great time for like a full weekend. No, that's fun. So wedding guest dresses are a top request constantly. Yes. Tell I us. feel like we are constantly making like creating content for wedding guest dresses. And I mean, there are so many options out there and so many different style of weddings. I would say for me, if I'm like attending a wedding, we have a wedding coming up in June. Mm -hmm. And so I start with like, okay, what do I already have in my closet? I can maybe repurpose. Maybe I wore something to like a gala or a nicer event could I rewear that? Is it appropriate for the wedding that I'm going to? Um, I would start there because you could always like, again, switch it up with like a different type of earring, mm -hmm. add a different clutch, like having just like a great black long dress is always something I recommend having in your closet. But maybe you want to try something new. In my mind, I always go like dressier. Yeah. So I would do like my I don't know the last time I wore a short dress to a wedding. I'm not saying that you can't. If you love short dresses, then by all means. But mm -hmm. for some reason, I think like midi or maxi length just is like what I prefer best. So that's kind of where I start. Um, I've had some really great luck with wedding guest dresses from Dillard's mm -hmm. and from ASOS. They ASOS especially has an amazing return policy. So you can try a few things and then send it back free shipping. And it's super easy to do. And it's unique. Like those are usually where you can try something a little bit more fun, but it's pieces that you'll be really comfortable in. Obviously having like a 
a great neutral shoe that is comfortable mm. that you can wear over and over. Sam Edelman has a great like strappy sandal. Even Express with like the clear heel, yeah. clear over top is like a great wedding guest. That's one Express of the first is things. another yes. great place yes. to look for wedding guest dress as well. Yeah. Um, but I tend to do something a little bit more flowy um, and – you know, again, you never want to like wear white to a wedding or any form of white. You don't ever want to show up the bride. It's funny. I remember somebody wore white to my wedding and I was just kind of like, I'm so confused, but it was like an older guest. And so I think sometimes people think like, because it's a wedding, like I, we need to wear white. Interesting. And, but that is like, do not wear white. (laughs) Hear me when I I say. We, we, we had somebody ask, um, there was a two piece jumpsuit that was pale pink and cream. Yes. And we kind of were like, that's kind of teetering on a, uh, I, would I would not stay away from that. Yeah. I think like if anything, that's more bridal. Yeah. Like that is more for the bride to wear on like her, um, to like the brunch before yes. the wedding or something else. I would just steer away from like any part of solid white. I do think there is, if there's like white in the back of a dress and it's got like a heavy print over it, but there is some white in it, like that could work. But at the end of the day, playing it safe and just like steering clear of white is probably the best way to go. Agree. (laughs) I love that. So traveling, you're about to do a lot of that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And travel, I would say wear is something that I know you love too. Yeah. So what are your go-to pieces whenever you're traveling? I guess you could say car versus flying um so i this is like kind of like a topic for discussion i feel like people are very passionate about this (laughs) but i love like a jumpsuit to travel in yeah and the feedback i get sometimes that's like i can't believe you would wear a jumpsuit to travel and go to the bathroom and in a in a airplane and have to like pull a jumpsuit all the way down and I'm like, it just doesn't bother me. Like it just probably because you pee three times a day. <laughs> what it is. Yeah. Maybe I should consume more water. <laughs> but I wouldn't suggest a jumpsuit if I was traveling with kids because True. that makes your bathroom experience a lot harder. You have less hands to work with. <laughs> and like my kids are always like, Are you done yet? Yes. Halfway out the door. And I'm like, I don't need to be like sitting there naked <laughs> yes. and my kids running out, you know. So I Agreed. think there's a time and a place, but I love like Spanx has some great travel outfits. Their jumpsuit is awesome. Um, the two piece like air essentials, like cropped pant mm-hmm. and sweatshirt is great. I think just wearing clothes that are super comfortable. Yeah. Um, I do like Target has some great like kind of more air tech kind of like pant material yes. doing a denim jacket I always like suggest some type of sweater or denim jacket because you never know if you're gonna get cold or hot or then being able to like take your jacket off and like you're at your warm destination and you've right. got your tank on underneath and like thinner pants bringing a pair of sandals in your carry-on bags so you can switch out your shoes depending on where you're going yeah um, but I would just say like for travel comfort is key I mean if you want to wear like bike shorts and an oversized t-shirt for the car, like by all means, wear what you feel comfortable in. Yeah. But um, like a two-piece set is always like a great way to kind of like level up your travel look. Yeah. I've learned that over the years because I used to get dressed and be ready to go once I hit the ground. And I was like, I'm too old for this. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I want to be comfortable. Yeah. And honestly, like I used to wear like makeup, Same. hair, all the things. And then when we had to wear masks to travel, I was like, I'm not wearing makeup. Mm. And then like since then, I feel like I rarely wear makeup to travel. And then that way I can like start with a clean face, wash my face, whatever, and yeah. then do like fresh makeup at the destination. And it makes it like so much easier. Yeah, for sure. Well, that is it, guys. We have had so much fun chatting about this. I can't wait to see what you guys put together in your outfits. Please send me photos, tag me. I absolutely love receiving um, pictures. And then if you have any questions about what to wear, always feel free to send us a message on Instagram. So much fun. I feel like I yes. could go on and on and we like could. talk about That's why we had outfits. to like put it down. <laughs> we had to nail it down to a certain few things. Guys, please don't miss an episode. Um, go to YouTube and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Yeah. We've had so much fun. Hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you next week. 